Okay, I'm going to show you here some some brickwork. And I saw the YouTube person who um, I won't share their name because uh, I'm going to talk bad in a moment. But here we go. You put those bluestone caps. So that that's what keeps the water from. But you can see what happens to brickwork after years. All right, let's stop there. This is what he said what happens to brickwork after years. This is not what happened to this brickwork. Um, I've, I've watched the entire video. And, and I really like this guy. I like watching his stuff. I'm not saying I like his skill. I like his skill in uh, chipping at his stonework. How's that? I disagree with uh, what he says. There's a no right way or wrong way to doing uh, brick or block work. Um, there's, there's always a wrong way. There's many right ways to do things. Or, or justifiably right ways, but there's uh, the wrong way is just the wrong way. Let, let's look at this building here. This building is a um, been repointed. He had made no mention of the repointing. He was talking about how this this brickwork is just delaminating, is uh, failing, etc., because of water washing down it. Um, well, the brickwork's not failing for that. This is not happening because of that. This original joint it was red. It's a red mortar. This red mortar um, was then surfaced with this um, hmm, uh, uh, pointing, with this pointing. So the so the red the brick here does look like it's different than this brick. Um, that it did pop off some or deteriorate it, but but this happened over a long time with water. This is not just popping off. This looks more like popping off here. Um, and and so now we go back to this brick, uh, the pointing. So the water comes down here after they pointed this on the surface, comes behind this, sits here, gets behind it, and freezes and pops it out. Notice here that this joint, let me see if I can fast forward a little bit. Just kind of. All right, he's going to come zoom in. But I want you to see that you have different colors also. Um, this Okay. Eight. He said dissipates. Okay, so, so let's back this up again. And let's start this again. How much degrees they went out there. All right, let's me show you the thing. On that core building, I estimated it the inch all the way to... All right, so this is all been repointed. Top. Notice they put bluestone over the arches. Okay. And when they got on the top up there, they put those bluestone caps. So that, that's what keeps the water from... You can see what happens to brick work after years. Okay, he said brick... This is not after... You know, that's not the result of it. There's, this brick work is just... It's, it's, it's the mortar joint here. The, uh, the resurface and the repointing. The water gets behind it. It pops off. Now, I've supervised tons, and, and, and I can tell you how you really look for this joint, this material. If you were going to match this and you wanted to change colors, you would have to... Grab a piece of this red here, the, the mortar itself, because it's, it's stable. It's not exhibiting signs of uh, cracking the brick, and, and you'll, explain, you'll understand in a minute. Or rather, I'll say now, that if this is a hard con uh, cement, that is, say, um, 1,500 PSI, and this is an 800 PSI uh, mortar joint, and say this is 800 PSI brick. Um, I'm just going to give you an example. So when this expands and contracts because of moisture in it, it hits 1,500 PSI um, shim, if you will. It will still try to expand, and this could crack off the face of it. All right, and when it does it, it can also push out the joint, push out the the um, the repointing, if you will. It can knock it off. The other thing it can knock it off is water getting behind here, this little ledge of this, because they surface this uh, striking. It's just on the surface. It's not recessed at all. So therefore... There is a 100% chance water will get onto this little ledge as it rolls down. And there's quite a good chance it will get behind this and sit behind here. At that point, it can um, ex freeze, expand, and bust off this uh, repointing job. Now, so we go back to this now. This, to be prepared, to, to be prepared for a good striking, a uh, good repointing, rather, um, guys grind this and then they, they prep it they really clean it out so you're not putting your uh material over dust and with that said when they grind it it's endless they just always seem to come across here and here with these little teeny points would be routed out and routed out there with a grinder circular in shape 
it grinds, it can only go so far, and they come this direction, but the guys have dust in their face, and they'll touch off on the uh, on these bricks. And there are none present, none, none present in these exposed points. And this part would be more smooth, um, because the grind is going to ultimately smooth it out, which can make for a bad bond, but we're going for the depth of it at that point. Um, so this is on the surface. This looks like it's the original the original pointing and they try to come up with a solution to change colors and repoint for what reason uh, who knows it was the wrong design though there, this would be the wrong way period um, to do this now let's go on it's just kind of and so you would get all this popping off here and you could then further cause uh, delamination and breaking of bricks because of your joint possibly being too hard, your uh, your new product being harder than the uh, brick. Dissipates. Uh, and even just All right. So um, let's go on from there. I just want to back that up just a hair while I finish this off for you guys. Um, and back to here. And a little bit further. And great. All right. So let's go for that. I'd say right from where I'm at, three quarters of an inch to the end. So again, you see it's just nasty, just mortared over top of the existing brick. All the way to the top. And I saw a piece back there where it was destroyed. You notice they put bluestone over the arches. And when they got on the top up there, they put those bluestone caps. So, that, that so here again. Now that was pretty deep there. That that would be a good place for it to bond. But now you see the cracking and all this. It's just terrible craftsmanship on reinstalling. But now this would be indicating of the, the, the mortar breaking off the brick. Um, because why would this brick just fail in the middle of its, not the middle, but in that section of it? Why would it do that? Well, if you put mortar in here and it went to expand, it could chip it away, delaminate the brick, the face of the brick. Um, here's a crack here. So here we go, a crack there. It's just cracks everywhere. So it keeps the water. Um, we got popping out there. We've got, looks like. Where from? Sorry, I'm trying to freeze it and. You can see what happens in Brickwork. I'm not getting very good on the freezing of my. Yeah, for years. Okay. And that's, I'm going to end it with that. See, again, that's right at the surface of it, right at the face of it. So there was no no prep work. The prop, the prep work was not did not include. Um, um, Re, uh, recessing the existing joint to allow for proper recessed um, um, repointing and the surface pointing I would not recommend it for anywhere where there's going to be moisture or water um, again because you're creating a shelf where it can get behind it and cause failure and be responsible for ultimate failure all right thanks guys take care